What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And in this video, I will be doing Chapter 23, Problem 1 in the Fundamentals of Physics, 9th Edition Extended Textbook by Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 23 is all about Gauss Law, and in Problem 1, we have a square surface that is immersed in an electric field, and we are asked to calculate the electric flux through the surface. And so the first thing that I want to do is just draw a little diagram, and so we'll say that this right here is our square surface, so this is a side view of that square, and then we have a area vector that is normal to that surface, and then we have our electric field vector, just like that, and we're told what this angle is, and for now I'm just going to call that beta. So that's the setup that we have for this problem, and we know that flux is equal to the integral of the electric field dotted with the differential area. But since we have a planar surface, we can simplify this, and it's going to become flux is equal to the electric field times area cosine theta, and this right here is the component of the area that is perpendicular to the electric field. And now the reason that I marked this as beta is because this given angle is not the angle that we plug in here. This angle is the angle between the electric field vector and the vector normal to the area. So that would be this right here. And that right there is theta. And in order to find this theta, we can take this entire angle right here and subtract out beta. So that means theta is equal to 180 minus beta. In the problem, we're told that beta is 35 degrees. So theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 35 degrees. And so theta is equal to 145 degrees. And so we're given the electric field in the problem. We just found theta. And so now we need to find our area. And since we have a square surface and the area of a square is the length of one side squared. We can rewrite this as electric field times the length of a side squared times the cosine of theta. And we are given the length in the problem, so we have everything here that we need to solve the rest of the problem. Theta is equal to 1800 newtons per coulomb times 3.2 millimeters that is the length we are given. The issue is contained in this Newton, there is meters, and here we have millimeters, so we need to convert these millimeters into meters, and the way that we're gonna do that is 1,000 millimeters in one meter, and now we need to square that term, and that's times the cosine of 145, and when you plug all of that into your calculator, just ensure that your calculator is in degree mode and not radian mode, and if you do that, your flux should be equal to negative 0.015 newton times meter squared per coulomb. And that is your final answer to this problem. And so that's about it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.